Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Star Studio Gallery in the backyard. And you are looking at my to-go container with the nasty, looks like mold, <laughs> snowman and sticky wrap, um, snowflake covered liner. And that might have some pillow paint go into it, I think. And I've got some pillow paint, which is nothing more than latex semi-gloss paint. I should not have shaken that. I am going to go ahead and try and follow the rules to the best of my knowledge, which might be limited since I never took Sheila E's course, Shelly, Shelly's course. But I do know I can save paint and use it for something else. It's, I'm not sure it's so, it's the best thing to do when it's black and white together, but I do like the painting I got out of it. And you might see that at some point in time. It's mostly for fun. So I've mixed some new colors today and I made a black from my golden uh, high flow fluid art and I'm hoping that that's going to be helpful. I'm going to try really hard to do less is more, but I'm very bad at it. <laughs> so we don't have tremendous expectations. I'm going to also try and put the lids back on my stuff as I go. Uh, I just made this color up recently and I made some more of this up which is um, a primary elements color that I adore and I don't know how many more colors I actually want because I definitely want that black in there can I have it <coughs> oh, looks like it plugged up already So we'll see how that turns out. And this is a golden fluid that is my cell activator, which is just three quarters Floetrol. And I am probably going to swipe this. I do want to try some of the red that I made up that was an, uh, I believe it was an Anita's Metallic, actually. And I also made an orange. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, it'll be what it'll be. And I'm going to miss the yellow. But I am going to throw in some more of this flow activator, which is a color shifting. See, already too much paint. A color shifting folk art purple. So some of these things need to have their tops put back on just briefly, hopefully, and be gotten out of my way. I have some gold too, which I used high flow golden acrylics, iridescent gold in, but um, what was I going to say? I didn't, uh, I, I used up the old mica powder. And no matter what I do, I need to scrape off some of that paint. And since I'm definitely into saving things, I'm going to see if I can design a method where I can scrape it off and keep it. Although that lid is not clean enough by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, well, it's got to be the way it's got to be for right now. It worked okay. Nice colors, and there might be some negative space left. Just gonna pick a spot. I don't like it when that happens at all. <laughs> if I can get rid of it, I will. I have to be, you have to be so careful for that to not happen. But we'll make do by integrating it. What color do I want that I don't have? 
I'm going to grab a little bit more of that golden, and I think it's mixed with iridescent pearl. This time I'm just going to use that paint right on the edge of the canvas, because there's no reason not to as far as I can tell. And I'm going to wipe it off, or throw it in my bucket even better. So here goes nothing sort of thing. Can I use the rest of that paint? I could. Why not use it up? Somebody's going, because there might be sand in there. Well, you'd be right. <laughs> it probably is. All right. So I'm not blowing anything. And I do need to bring over my pan and get a few things out of the way. It seems like someday my studio will come. I might get, definitely get my wish about the negative space. I'm tending to think I'm going to want some other color. My pan is prettier than my painting. <laughs> and I should have gone for some blue. But at least I got the cells I was looking for. I can fill in that corner. I don't know, it might be a little subtle, but it might be really nice. It's definitely stretching out the cells. I'll let that go all the way down there, even though it's going to take my negative space with it. Loving the cells. Don't, the black is kind of gray, but um, it's a first time experiment, so what are you going to do? You've got to try everything once. I like the red far more than I expected I was going to. And I am going to just keep letting that stretch out and go back. I'm really actually beginning to become quite fond of this. <laughs> so I gotta tell you, we're almost done, and uh, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, with whatever that is in the paint. <laughs> it's gotta go. Oh, yeah. All right, well, that's way better than I was expecting, to tell you the truth, for a minute. But I haven't done so many of these that I've experienced the nirvana that people get when they uh, get what they want. I wonder if I can... get down and get funky and do a little change. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try to gently lead that over the surface first. Now that's not bothering me, and it makes me wonder if I could do that with other colors. Which would be cool, because I have other colors! Do I want to do that? I kind of want to do something right up here. Because I can. Hey, that's the name of my book on the Amazon link. The first blue link under show more under the video. I forgot that was actually cell activator, but I don't think it matters right now. Mostly what it's doing is activating some cells. That golden fluid works really well as a cell activator. I just want it to be cohesively over the edge. And I'm thinking, seriously, in for penny, in for pound. Because I can.
and I love that color. Well, that's pretty neat. Do I want anything else? <laughs> you know I am like that. I might. Pretty happy with all that. I don't see any gold, but I love this little tiny bit of blue that got saved. All right, so I'm going to do what what you're advised against doing because it's been working for me consistently. So it's really up to you to do it or not. And that for me is torching because it, it may be more flammable, but it definitely doesn't seem to burn for me. When I swipe regular fluid acrylic pouring, I have more chance of burning the paint. I really like that. That's um that's kind of subtle and classy. It doesn't have the most tremendous colors in the world, but I love it. So what should I tell you? I have Facebook groups Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. And you can find tomorrow's videos there sometimes if I post them late at night. And I have Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors for fans and collectors. Who, where you might be able to see the so far so good edited YouTube video art. And, oh, I did it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, just after I said I was going to be careful, too. Okay, well, let's see what happens. And after I torched. Maybe I should just pretend it's part of the design, or maybe I should just go through and add a few twirls. Because I can. And if I don't, <laughs> it'll be very noticeable. And luckily the paint was thick enough, so that won't be a problem. Almost. Almost fixed it. I would not be surprised if I was not the only one that that happens to. So I'm just going to poke in there with my skewer and it more or less disappeared. Same for that one. Hopefully it comes back. All right, so I'm satisfied that that's not, that's not the worst fix in the world. <laughs> Except for over there where I didn't fix it at all. And what am I going to do? I am going to... Add a little something something to distract the eye and I think that worked <coughs> I will be really trying a lot harder from now on not to do that not to drag any painty fingers across the surface of the artwork because that stunk I didn't like doing that at all and I won't be the only one it happened to so now you know there are fixes so the paint pouring recipe is under the video. Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter are under the video. There's Teespring clothing with all over print t-shirts and leggings under the video. The first blue link is the Amazon link. If you shop there, it's at no added cost to you and it helps me out. And I really appreciate that. Oh goody, I just found a painting I'm going to add some stuff to. I love you guys. There's 85,000 of you. And if you check my channel for the, um, for the playlists under all playlists and then created playlists, you'll find 10 lists of 100, one list being populated by the, the last, most recent, and uh, 10 or 12, excuse me, 12 or 13 genres. <coughs> excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat today. Um, you might want to check that you're getting notifications. They get turned off. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. And um, the longer you watch the video, the more likely you are to be able to help me stay at YouTube. Um, on the end screens, you'll find the exhibition video that will show you what this month's prizes are for those who decide that it would be cool to help support the studio by contributing $10 or more to uh, keep me painting. And thank you to everybody who's kept me painting so far. And thank you guys for all the wonderful comments that you leave me all the time. I really love you guys. And uh, hang in there. Hopefully I can hang in there. I am definitely thinking about um, just one midnight post a day, and that way the early risers can find it and the late night owls can find it too and uh, anybody else who's looking for me can find me. I'm not hard to find. I love you guys. This is Priscilla Batzell.
in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Really surprised that I think that that's so cool, especially after I tried to screw it up so badly. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Bye for now. Priscilla out. We'll see you anon. Oh, check the community board for tomorrow's video on my YouTube channel. Bye now.